Hello, Tab Nation! It's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing, I guess, a continuation of basically my most popular videos, which are macro recorders. I've done, I don't know, maybe five or six or so in the past, and they've been like super popular. Um, so I'm going to be doing basically, I don't know if this is going to be two, three parts, or whatever. So this is part one, and basically I just grabbed a crap load of macro recorders off the internet, and just kind of, just a quick overview uh, of each one. Uh, if there's one that you guys are really, really interested in, and these videos get lots of uploads, or upvotes, sorry, uh, thumbs up it, and maybe I'll dive deeper into each one a little bit better. Um, this is just kind of a quick overview to show you what's out there. Obviously, in the description below will be the links to uh, all of these. So this is the website right here where I've grabbed quite a few of them from. Um, so as you see, if you scroll down, there's a lot. And I haven't even tried half of these. Uh, a few other websites up here to try out. Um, but yeah. Sorry, my camera is in a weird position today. Uh, I keep looking off screen, don't I? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try our first one, shall we? This one is called Mini Mouse Macro. So that launched. Here it is. Uh, you know, design-wise, it's not the most beautiful-looking thing, um, but a lot of times that's perfectly fine because it's just meant to be simple. Um, so this one, this one I like for a few reasons, uh, not just because of the simplicity. I mean, it takes five seconds to learn how to use this. Um, but if you do want to get a little bit fancier, it does have some pretty good stuff. I do like having the playback speed here. Uh, some macro recorders just record what you did and you can't really always adjust it. So this is nice because then I can do what I need to do at human speed and then just, you know, make it faster. Faster than I can do. Um, the other thing I really like about this, obviously I can't really show this in the video, um, but there is one here called Remote. Um, so you can click Remote. It's going to load another window. And this is cool because I can trigger commands from a, another computer on the network. That is by far the coolest thing I've found in this one. Um, I mean, that's just really awesome because, you know, you could create your script, put it on a bunch of different computers, and instead of going to each computer or server, you know, however you're using this, I mean, that's just really nice. But, I mean, it's pretty simple. You got, you know, your stop, play, pause over here. You got your recording stuff over here. So you can just, you know, push record. As you see, it's live, um, tracking what I'm doing. Right click, you know, move up and down. Uh, we'll click here, highlight. As you see, it records a lot of mouse movements, but that's pretty normal. Uh, for a macro recorder. So you can always go through and edit these if you want to uh, right click, remove entry. Um, you can also highlight a bunch to remove at one time. Uh, that's just a guy, good way to keep it clean looking. And you just push play. And as you see, it's running. Here's my hands. And obviously, it's playing at the speed that I record it. I do like on the bottom, as you can see, it is showing exactly, you know, what step it's on, how long it took to execute, all that kind of stuff. Super simple. Uh, but yeah, that's Mini Mouse Macro. Link in the description below. All right, let's move on to our next one. All right, and this one is just called Macro Recorder version 2 at the moment of filming this one. I've actually presented this one in a previous video, so we're not going to get too deep into it. Uh, but this is kind of a video where I'm kind of trying to put, like, a little bit of everything into it. Um, but, yeah, this one's another really simple one. Um, very clean looking with this um, one. One thing I do want to mention about the mouse recorder on the last one uh, that I was just talking about. That one does not actually need to be installed. It just kind of runs from your desktop. Where this one, um, you will need to install. I'll try to make sure to remember to mention that stuff. Um, just in case that matters, maybe for security reasons at your job or something, where the antivirus might not like it. Um, but yeah, this one's another really easy one. Just push record, move your mouse how you want, right click. It does tell you how long it's waiting. We're going to do that, and then we're going to say stop. And then we'll go ahead and push play again. Hey, 
So yeah, pretty simple. Um, there we go. Sorry, my camera keeps moving for some odd reason. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this one is way easier to use because it's just such a clean. It does have image detection, um, which is a very popular thing to be using in video games. Uh, I still recommend always going with like the pullover uh, macro recorder. I've done multiple videos on those. That one's one that you can really get in depth with, but I'm not really going to talk about that. But I can link the first video uh, to that in, in the description below just so you can check that out. Um, but that one does have a little bit of a learning curve, so yeah. All right, up next is the Auto Soft Auto Keyboard Presser. It's a bit of a name fool on the name here, but once again, just another simple one. This one does not require any installation. It's just like a portable version, basically. Um, clean GUI, so basically you got your start, stop. Uh, the only thing I will say I don't like too much about this one is... When you're picking your hotkey, you don't have a lot of options here. Um, you know, whatever, but for me, I usually use the F keys anyway for most of my scripts. Um, but a lot of people might want to use, like, the arrow keys or something. And unfortunately, this is pretty much what you got. It's just these options. So that's the one thing I will say I don't fully like about this one. Um, but it is very clean, very easy to use. At the time of filming this, it's version 1.9. Uh, but that's our start stop hotkey is f1 okay it has been set play hotkey uh, we'll just make it f2 set um yeah basically you know time between presses that's another way you can adjust uh, how fast it moves uh, i do like that it has on here that you can have it repeat a certain amount of times or you can just have it repeat continuously so we can sit here and say you know i want it to run five times so I'm not having to record a whole bunch of stuff or pushing the hotkey over and over again. Um, you can also, um, there's a full version. I'm honestly not 100% sure what that does. Um, here's where you can save and load uh, scripts. Uh, apparently that doesn't want to close. There we go. Um, you do uh, get it for 21 days. Uh, actually, I downloaded this like a week ago. So you get like a month to basically test it out. And then it's just $5, so it's not, like, super expensive. Um, but, you know, check it out, see if it's uh, something that works for you. But, yeah, we can basically just say, you know, gives you a little countdown, obviously, for recording. Um, but this is another one that's, like, super simple. And then, um, yeah. And that's basically it. So, plain. I uh, obviously didn't record anything. But yeah, this one's pretty good. The only thing I also will say about this is when you do record stuff, it doesn't quite always uh, capture it fully live. It's a bit of a lag. Um, but this one, uh, the reason I like this one and showcasing in it is I have tested a lot of these in like a few video games. Obviously, I don't have every video game. Not a lot of time, so I kind of just try it out as I go uh, with whatever I feel like. This one, I tried it on... A few games that are known for being flagged um, for stuff like this and basically not allowing these to even work. This one surprisingly was able to get uh, past uh, a few of the video games that normally I have difficulties with. So that is like why I'm showcasing this is why it's so great is it just it worked way better um, when it came to certain programs versus others. So it might be worth the... Uh, Five bucks, so I just want to throw that one out there. All right, let's go to our next one. And, uh, oh, by the way, that one was called the, yeah, Auto Soft Auto Keyboard Presser. One heck of a name. All right, what's up next? All right, so obviously I had to change my screen recording size here. We'll see why in just a second. This one is called... Uh, Easy Clicks EN. I'm guessing the EN just stands for this is the English version. Um, but yeah, Easy Clicks. So we'll go ahead and open that, get the little splash screen. And uh, <clears throat> it's funny because this one took me a second. I thought it wasn't running. I kept launching it. And I realized there's this little orange thing floating here. So I really like that because the GUI is just, it's so clean being over here. Like, I just love the simplicity of this. It's just, and it's on the side of the screen. It's great. I love it. Um, 
it does give you a little uh, window thing down here, so it's acting as just like a transparent window. That's whatever, I guess. It would be nice if it didn't have this down here, but I just, I love how clean this is. So you probably can't really read what the pop-ups are going to say, um, but I'll try because they are pretty quick. Uh, we're going to click the plus symbol. It says select a key for the macro and then press the actions for it. So I'm going to go ahead and press F1. It now says it's recording, so I'm going to right-click here, right-click here, right-click there. We'll keep it simple, and then I'm going to push the stop uh, button there. Congratulations, you have successfully created a new macro. Um, so that's pretty easy. Um, <clears throat> I'm pushing F1 right now. And that's what I assigned. It's not doing the macro. The reason why, and another thing I like, is you can see it's just popping up whatever the standard default thing is, oh, Edge, um, is because you can turn it on and off, and I really like that, too. Um, so right here, I can push the play button, and it's not actually just going to play it like in most macros, where it would just instantly start doing it. It's just saying that my hotkey is now attached to the macro that I record it. So what I can do is now I can press F1, hands in the air, and as you see, it's just doing the clicks for me. Um, this one, I mean, this one, I definitely give it, like, an 8 out of 10. If they somehow hid the little window that pops on your bar down here, I would give this a 10 out of 10. <laughs> That's just my preference, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And give me your ratings on, you know, them. I probably should have done that. Um, I can also obviously turn this off if press F1, Edge would open again. You also know that I have a macro recorded, so there's a lot more options now. This is kind of like an edit window where I can uh, get a little bit more fancy with it, uh, stuff like that. Uh, this is kind of the uh, system menu or program menu uh, where you can save, you know, open, all that stuff, delete it, uh, to record another one. Um, this one is your options menu, so just kind of explore that. There's just uh, different ones here, for more options. You know, don't block keys for stop, pause show a circle where the click is made that's actually kind of cool that'd be nice uh, run at startup you know there's different things you can um, do here um, by default none of them are checked so you can just kind of add that uh, let's see what that looks like actually i'm kind of curious um, how that's gonna look um yeah i mean that's pretty much it pretty simple pretty straightforward it's very clean um, so I really like that one. Let me know, once again, which ones you guys like. And let's see what we got. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, part 2 will be coming out in about a week or two, where I'm going to knock out even more macros. And I'm just going to keep going. So if there's any I didn't cover in this video that maybe I haven't even done a video on either, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll Google it, try it out, deem it worthy or not to go on. Make sure to subscribe. Usually throwing out one video every single week having to do with automation. And yeah, see you all on the next one. Bye. And real quick, something I just wanted to throw in this video, uh, edit in a little bit later, is I just wanted to show you guys the icons for the, uh, macro recorders in this video just to help you when you're on the website looking at them. Uh, so you got the Minnie Mouse macro right here, which is just a slice of cheese. Uh, it looks like a face, or I guess that's a mouse. Very interesting one. My favorite just being the little robot dude here. That's for the macro recorder. Um, auto uh, soft it, just a keyboard. And then the easy clicks. Uh, that one just comes in a folder, um, but when you go in, it's just a picture of uh, a mouse. Um, so very simple icons. I mean, the Minnie Mouse one's definitely the most interesting. Um, but yeah, I just want to throw that in real quick just to help you all out with that. All right, back to the video.